Hello, good morning. In this tutorial, we are going to do a um, prototyping uh, Loran node, Loran node using the ST32 Noclu WL55JC, and then connect it to TTI. First, we need uh, to know which uh, tool is most proper and uh, useful for our scenario. We need uh, two tools. Uh, first, uh, Cube ID. Uh, which uh, includes uh, the um, possibility the, of the changing the code and also the hardware um, uh, I mean the MCU pins out and also um, uploading the uh, possibility of uploading the codes into the device uh, together uh, so we use uh, this tool um, in comparison with uh, uh, IAR and uh, Cube Programmer, Cube MX, or other tools uh, that you may see on the web. And then we need a terminal tool uh, for scenario which uh, we use uh, in our Linux operating system. I use the QCOM, uh, it is the most proper tool which has the possibility to copy and paste the commands uh, to also outside and also they remain. Uh, mm, uh, the output remained on the uh, output of this uh, um, tool. Okay, there are some notes. Uh, there is no need to change or any pin uh, or jumper uh, of your uh, Nokia board in this uh, model. And uh, there is no differ uh, different to connect the device before opening the cube ID or after opening it, and you may see uh, the error of no device connected to PC. And the solution uh, could be installing the latest version of the cube ID, which now up to now is 161. If uh, you install it, please uh, remove and reinstall it. And uh, the problem with start for myself, it happens and uh, I solve it. Mm, and uh, please be anxious not to damage the bootloader uh, part of the device uh, before start running uh, the program or uh, doing anything. Please uh, be. Uh, anxious to uh, mm, study all the necessary notes about uh, the device okay now uh, we need to install the uh, um, QID from this website you can uh, uh, go to download the, this page and uh, according to operating system which mine is here for example Linux uh, if I uh, hit it again latest it will install directly this 161 otherwise there are also other versions that uh, if you choose you can uh, install them too and then after installing the device also there are let me show you yeah, there is a, a page if you have to register through the name and username and uh, email address and the password and uh, it's possible to download it the valid uh, email address okay then after installing there is a uh, um, page here the first page um, uh, for uh, maybe for you is another thing but uh, by I, I again show you by choosing the new and STM32 projects we have this page by hitting the example selector maybe the first, first time you install the cube ID you will see this page ok I have to put the Loravan Loravan in node and I choose the more of an end node, not need to do a core or another types. Then we add this to the area to environment. Then we can see this. 
we need to change some parameters after that we need to upload this code or this example to our local board so we go to Lara app in this class uh, and then uh, we always uh, use the files with the postfix uh, of h uh, Laura app H. Uh, we need to, if you uh, decided to use the ABP mode like me, you need to put it ABP instead of over there, ODTA, and ODTA, and then If the device was, for example, another class, it's possible to change it to class B or C. For, uh, for lower one, most of the time it is class A. Then we need to set the uh, keys and uh, by default there are some um, keys, but uh, I suggest you to uh, put um, a valid one or uh, find uh, the, for example the UI from the chip uh, of your board there is uh, a label um, which you start most of the time with 0080 and uh, you can find that one and uh, set it here in a over the air you need to set uh, static UI as you can see here explain and then um, we need to set the join UI uh, in over there exam uh, again for my scenario I need to activate this one um, their uh, address is a static and also I put it uh, the one here because it makes no different the, the static behavior UI uh, it makes no different to be one or zero then I uh, put the dev address here as you can see it is uh, arbitrary uh, you can also get it from the TTI or the thing in the industrial website uh, randomly generated randomly there and then we need uh, to set the network session key and application session key which should be the same uh, in uh, the TTN platform ok and uh, finally the main C file also if you had any code you don't need as I didn't have any um, code to, to do anything specific so I didn't uh, change this uh, part in the main C file ok now uh, after do all the things we need to hit the save all then this uh, icon now you are going to if it could be zero errors you need to uh, hit this icon and then change this to uh, this one and then wait until it uploads to the device Okay, after you saw this, uh, and also there is a LED which uh, blinks here between the green and the red. Now the device has been flashed. Now you need to run the program in, in the device by hitting this icon. Now, after watching this 10 times message. Now your device is start executing this uploaded code inside it. So I can show you also in uh, the Qt uh, com uh, the messages has been sent, and uh, I can show you 
the settings should be in baud rate 115200 and also um, date of it 8, parity no and all the parameters should be like this then by open this session the device is as you can see started so and also the LED of uh, your STM board is become uh, red just while sending each uh, message the uh, LED2 blink in green ok now we are going to uh, set our uh, changes or set up the TTM platform, new platform which is the thing the stack and previously I have uh, been uh, set up the gateway or set the gateway put the gateway data in the TTM platform and it's already reconfigured it is not very specific part so I won't explain again and uh, then we need to go to application we need to add an application okay and create an application then add a device manually because if you are going to use the over there activation you, you need to choose the upper one and then uh, as the device is working with max max version 103 use this and start and device id as you prefer stem maybe why for me is not important in this uh, activation method the frequency plan as we are in the testing mode we use uh, uh, this one and then their address is important so we need to copy it from this identity file which we put it previously here and the network session field we set it network session field here and application session here which is here as you can see okay the uplink drive as you can see so like data you can see the data arriving Meanwhile, you can also check uh, that the terminal tool to see the data transmission. Also, this is the related JSON file related to it. Thank you so much for your attention and uh, time. And uh, if you if this video was helpful, please hit the like or subscribe to our channel to motivate me to put uh, another videos thank you very much have a nice day